Malaysia's export ban on chicken has kicked in. But don't you worry, we still got chicken. And actually, did you know that half of all our chicken supply comes from Brazil? Now, I know many of you are crying foul about this, but honestly, can you tell the difference between frozen and fresh chilled chicken? Time for a taste test. So today, we have prepared chicken in four different ways. Each time, we'll have a fresh and a frozen chicken. Mm. I see something it's like... Yellow, right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm 11 out of 10 sure. Oh. Absolutely wrong. Like what? wrong, Okay, wrong, okay, don't need to say so many wrong. times. Like okay. so wrong. I don't think people can tell the difference uh, between fresh and frozen chicken. Out of 10 people, 9 people can't tell the difference. So for most Singaporeans uh, that cooks at home, they use a lot of soy sauce, uh, sesame oil, salt, sugar. It all helps to change the flavour profile of the chicken. In terms of nutrition, there is actually no difference between fresh and frozen chicken. However, some people may find that frozen chicken uh, tastes a little bit dry. If the thawing process was done very quickly, a lot of the moisture would be lost. Some people do perceive this sort of a frozen smell, but actually this smell is chicken odour because it leaked out in the water during thawing. So therefore, after thawing, we smell it even more intensely. The best way to defrost is uh, always leaving it in a chiller the day before in the afternoon so that it, it drops temperature in a controlled environment. So the way to wash the chicken is excess blood. You will not want the blood. Put a chicken in a pot or in a bowl. Put water. The blood is coming out. Quickly rinse it off. Do about two to three times until your water is semi-clear. After that, brining. So a good chunk of salt inside. I would advise home cooks to always be washing your chicken with a good pinch of salt inside so that you tenderize it yet season it. I think that frozen chicken wing is much more consistent than fresh chicken wing. You do not taste the difference and it's always very tender. Frozen chicken undergo a process called blast freezing, where the chicken is frozen very rapidly, uh, such that the ice crystals formed are very, very small. Whereas if we buy fresh chicken and we freeze it at home, uh, it's very different because the freezing process takes a longer time. So when we have very big ice crystals in our food, it actually damages the structure. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you that you'll be able to tell the difference between fresh and frozen chicken? Between 8 and 9. I think it's about a 3. 5, C5. So today we have prepared chicken in four different ways. You're going to taste it one by one. And here's your first dish, poached chicken. Wow, TC is like a real connoisseur. Smell first. Man's really checking out this chicken. So you guys are all done? Good. Ready? One, two, three. It feels a little bit, to me, a bit artificial. Mm. It feels very smooth. A bit unnaturally so. The small pieces, more chunkier compared to the white one. The white one seems to have an aftertaste. And this is dish number two, roast chicken. I must admit that it's pretty close. Okay. This time I can't tell the difference. That's yeah, why I'm trying, to, right. trying to dissect it, see how the fibres open up. Yeah, I know. Oh, Joanne, very good. <laughs> All of you have the same answer. I always do the grilling of the yeah. grilled, grilled chicken. So far, I try a few times. The frozen one, not so, not so nice. I always think that the frozen one is the tougher one. It's tough. normally a bit harder to chew. Okay, this one I think is going to be tough. It's fried chicken. Love fried chicken. 
Who doesn't like fried chicken? Mm. Hey, got, got some more blacha or not? The chef will be very upset with me. Yeah. yeah. Investigation mode. Yeah, I see the. Yeah, I see something it's like. It's like yellow, right? Yeah, that's mm. very good. Oh, Jacqueline, again. Wow, all of you really are on the same page. The black one seems more favour, but the bow, the bow itself is usually. I just know that the bow one is the non-frozen one. How confident are you of that? 10 out of 10. Wow, not shy. <laughs> and I'm 11 out of 10, sure. 11 out of 10. And this is our final and I think Singapore's favourite dish, chicken curry. Oh, this one is definitely tougher. When it comes to curry, really yeah. the, the difference is very subtle. Hard to differentiate. <laughs> <laughs> Either you're getting it all right or you're getting it all wrong. Chicken breast itself. This is more tender, and then this is harder. It's tougher to cut into the oh, chicken okay. itself. It was mainly because of the texture. It's frozen, it's a bit uptight. Yeah, you know, probably yeah. uptight. Well guys, I have the results for you. And this is all totally legit, there was no foul play. <laughs> but Jacqueline, I think H really was your handicap because you got all wrong. Really? <laughs> no way! Yes way. Zero of, out of four? Zero, absolutely wrong. Like what? wrong, okay, wrong, okay, don't need to say so wrong, many times. like okay. so wrong. Kashmin, TC, three out of four. Oh, that's not too bad. That's good. You kind of lived up to your 80-90% accuracy rate, yeah? Most of you did pretty well. The first one, only Imran, you got it wrong. And the second one, guess what? <laughs> All of you got it wrong. Yeah, surprised I'm by surprised the, by the, yeah. By, yeah. The, the, by the roast chicken. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the cooking skill is very high. So the other one, the cooking skill, not so high. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say the chefs are here, yeah. <laughs> Next time, I must go and buy frozen chicken to go and try. So the results today kind of surprised me, but not really. So poaching, it didn't shock me that they kind of realised all of it. It was because there is no marination in the meat. Most of the older folks uh, could tell the difference between fresh or frozen was because they are more used to eating fresh chicken than frozen. For deep frying, it may be a bit more obvious. During the deep frying process, it actually causes more water to be removed from the chicken. So in a sense, your frozen chicken is losing water twice uh, from the thawing process as well as the deep frying process. Chicken breast was used to uh, make the curry. It's been cooked for a very long time. A lot of moisture can be lost and therefore the texture of the chicken breast would be drier. For oven baked chicken thighs, because chicken thighs have a high amount of fat, so during baking, the fat will melt and this contributes towards the juiciness of the chicken thigh. Usually the chicken is marinated or has some sort of a, a flavours or spices. So this could also help to cover um, any frozen, uh, say, stench or odours if there are any present. I think all cooking methods will work for frozen chicken. It just depends on how the home cook has thawed the chicken. So that's a very important part in the process of preparing your frozen chicken. And we'll be looking into the chicken supply crisis on a special two-parter for Talking Points starting June 23rd. Watch out for it!